okay let's see how we can equalize the congas the congas are these latin drums and we have two uh, main congas one is called conga which is a high frequency drum and the other one is called tumba and sometimes they are called tumbadoras well the point is that if we have this uh, analyzer we can easily see that there are two peaks which are the fundamental frequency so in order to equalize the congas we could use a filter uh, to find the resonant frequency for example let's use the EQ there we go okay this one is around 200 which is the low pitched and now that we found it we can attenuate it it's almost gone or we can boost it so it's a matter of taste whatever you may need now we could do pretty much the same for the other drum I take another filter there we go it's around 270 that's the resonance and once I find it, you see, I could pretty much uh, take away everything. <laughs> of course, that wouldn't be a very natural sound, but yeah, what I mean is that you can manipulate the sound once you have found the, the main frequencies. Now, the next part would be the attack of the sound this is going to be around 2 kilohertz or so one point five kilohertz is a snap sound from the hand so you can boost it or cut it of course you need a, the right balance and that comes from the context and finally around one octave about this maybe around four or five K you will find the brightness know that brightness it's around 5k so those are the main frequencies in a conga drum you would need to control the the, the fundamental resonance and uh, then you can control the snap around one or two kilohertz and finally you can control the brightness around 5 kilohertz if you decide to boost or to cut any of those frequencies is up to you and up to the mixing situation